Hey, welcome back to another DVD review from Hot Water Wrestling. Well, today we're going to look at one of my favorite DVDs from one of my favorite wrestlers, and that is Brock Lesnar. Here comes the pain. You see that? All right, Brock Lesnar, here comes the pain. But before I get into the actual DVD, let's talk about Brock Lesnar for a minute. He was an amazing, amazing performer in the WWE, and he still to this day, obviously, is an amazing athlete. The guy was a national champion in college. I think he might have won the national championship twice. That means he was the best wrestler in the country. He comes into the WWE and just blows right through the roster, all the way up to the top, to the world championship, WWE championship, and it was believable. It really was. You know, a lot of times you get these guys who kind of blow through the roster, there have been over time, and you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, okay, he's indestructible. You know, Kane mainly when they brought him in. You know, stuff like that. The Undertaker even. Brock Lesnar was very believable that he would blow through the roster the way he did. Just with his credentials coming in and his very plain, authentic, genuine wrestling look. There was no gimmick, no makeup, no fancy costume, nothing. He just came in there. He was all about the business and he just threw down. And I just always loved that about him. And Despite his size, the man was extremely agile. And of course, his most agile moment of all time, he almost killed himself doing it, but that was when he did that uh, shooting star press on Kurt Angle um, at WrestleMania something or other. <laughs> I don't remember the number. But that wonderful championship match versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania was just unbelievable. Oh yeah, I remember now, it was WrestleMania 21. <clears throat> Just an amazing, amazing performance, an amazing match by both guys. One of my favorite matches of all time was Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 21. But I think the most amazing thing that Brock Lesnar did in his career, he just recently did. Think about it. One of the top superstars in the WWE. He was over like nobody's business. He was primed to have a huge title reign. He was primed to have a long, prosperous career, and he leaves. He leaves the WWE to go be an MMA fighter. His desire to compete overtook him, overtook the money. He stepped out of the safe zone of being financially stable and having a long-term job and also having a huge legacy in this business, and he left it all behind to go be the best MMA fighter in the world. And what happened? He pulled it off. He did it. So much respect for Brock Lesnar right here for doing that. So much respect. And he's also brought a little wrestling flair to the MMA world with his, uh, you know, he was flicking off the fans last match he had. He's always been a little cocky and he's always kind of brought that wrestling swagger. And I really like that he brought that into MMA. But, I just have to give the guy props. I mean, national champion, comes into WWE, completely dominates it, becomes the biggest star in the business, leaves it all behind to go do MMA. Everyone laughs at him. And what does he do? Climbs right to the top of the ladder and wins the championship. And it's just unbelievable. Brock, unbelievable. So let's go into the DVD, Brock Lesnar, Here Comes the Pain. On here, you get a great documentary of Brock Lesnar. It takes you from his childhood right up to present day when this documentary was made. And it answers tons of questions, gives you lots of insight into his uh, work ethic as an athlete, his drive as an athlete, um, and just also all around a really, really good documentary. I highly recommend it. Um, it's something cool to watch now, even though he's not really in wrestling anymore. It's really cool to actually go back and watch this documentary now because it's still kind of... Uh, you know, valid to what's going on now. Um, on here, the bonus matches are just excellent. Namely, one of them was The Undertaker in the Hell in a Cell match. Unbelievable. No Mercy 2002. One of the most bloody, gruesome matches you will ever see in your life. If you like blood, if you're angry that there's no more blood in the WWE, Get this DVD and pop it on and watch The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar and No Mercy 2002. You'll have enough blood for six months. These guys are just like a faucet pouring blood out of their face during this match. And it's not just the blood 
that makes it a great match. It was a great match. It was really exciting. The feud between Undertaker and Brock Lesnar totally kicked ass. They have more than one match. I think they have two or three, actually three. I think they have three matches. And I highly recommend getting them all because the Undertaker-Brock Lesnar feud was awesome. And the Hell in a Cell match was just unbelievable. And like I said, a total bloodbath. I mean, no holds barred. It's almost too much to look at sometimes. I mean, every time I'm done watching that, I'm just like, whew, okay, let's do something else. No more wrestling. <laughs> yeah, make it the last match you watch in a day, too, because after you see it, you'll be like, all right, I'm going to watch, like, Tom and Jerry. Um, <clears throat> the Rock at SummerSlam quality match. Obviously, you got the WrestleMania 21 Kurt Angle match. One of the greatest wrestling matches of all time, in my humble opinion. Stretcher match versus the Big Show. Very cool. They had a feud as well, and there's more than one uh, Big Show Brock Lesnar match, so I highly recommend tracking all those down. Anything with Brock Lesnar is really good. He was just an exceptional performer. He really, really was. Um, I really miss him, but God bless him. How can you take it away? How can you wish that he was back in the WWE when the guy is living his dream? I think he will be back one day. Obviously, you know, MMA is real, and you can only go so far for so long, but I wouldn't put it past Brock to wrestle <clears throat> into his late 30s, early 40s. You never know. But I think maybe he'll come back for one more run in the WWE before it's all said and done. I'm hoping and praying, but I don't want it to be too early. I want him to have his good MMA career, and that's what's important. But there's not a bad minute on this DVD. It is a five-star DVD that kicks major ass. You can get it for really cheap. I'm actually shocked because obviously they don't print these anymore. It's out of print, but I guess they made plenty of them. Uh, you can <clears throat> get this on Amazon or Half.com or eBay or whatever, or you use DVD store for five, six, seven bucks, whatever. So pick it up. Brock Lesnar, here comes the pain, and I'll see you next time on Hot Water Wrestling. <laughs> you can't see me, motherfucker. Uh...